Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the City Nights look that Mary Phillips created with the Jet Setter palette which is this palette here. I did do the Beachy Days look um, so I will link that somewhere at the top of this video but let's get started. Okay so first step is Tinted Blur of course. I'm using two shades here medium 5 and shade number 6. I don't know, I just feel like with those two shades mixed together, it kind of creates my perfect shade. I know I'm so extra, but this is such a good all-around product, super easy to use, and it contains non-drying cocoa and green tea emollients, so it's not drying at all. And then we go in with the concealer pencil. This is in the shade medium 6, I believe, um, but just a simple product easy to use, gets the job done. It has such a nice moisturizing but thin consistency so it does not feel cakey throughout the day and it just provides just the right amount of coverage for every day. I just apply it a little bit under my eyes, around my nose, my mouth, and a little bit on my forehead. Um, and this next step is actually, you know, if I'm not too lazy, but I do love it for this types of like nights out, you know what I mean, you do a little bit extra. Um, but I've just used this as kind of like a bronzer just to, you know, add some more structure to my face. I love Bondi Bay because the shade isn't too cool or too warm. It's just that perfect shade. And here I'm using a brush, um, which I think went well, <laughs> but I normally use my fingers because I'm just a lazy girl. So my favorite step is always blush. This comes with the Jet Setter palette. This is the all over face color in, in the nude. One of my favorite blushes right now. I just love it for every day. It just has like a nice pinky, corally undertone and I really just apply this everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's just so easy. I use my fingers to kind of just dab it in there and it's good to go. All right, now diving into the fun stuff. I'm going in with the Magnetic Matte Eye Color in the shade Coco. It's just this really nice, dark, chocolatey brown shade, and I'm doing it as, like Mary Phillips did. She just started it on the um, upper lash line, I guess you can say, and then started gradually adding some to the outer corners of the eye and just, of course, smudging it out with your fingers. This was so easy to do. Normally I steer away from darker shades just because, I don't know, I just don't like the hassle, but these were so easy to use with my fingers. They just blended in. It's so creamy, but it's like not, you know, transferring all crazy and stuff. It's just one of those things that you really have to blend in quickly because it will stay there all day. Um, and then here I'm just adding it on my bottom lash line and just smudging it out. Now we're gonna top that off with the Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in the shade Immortal. I don't know guys, I feel like this step is so necessary because it just adds like a nice sheeny glow to the eye and just adds a little bit more dimension. It really gives it that lived in look. So I just feel like it looks super sultry and sexy, but looks like you didn't put that much effort. I just feel like these two shades make the perfect smoky alternative because sometimes black can be very intimidating to use and at least you won't have to risk stepping at the house looking like you have a black eye. Now we're going to go in with a glow in the Nudies All Over Face color in Hey Honey. I believe this is the same one that Mary Phillips used, but it's one of my top favorite uh, Nude Sticks products. But I love this. I feel like cream highlighter is so essential to any look because it really puts that skin factor, like it makes your skin look like skin again. Um, I add this all, to all the high points of my face, but you know what I mean? Sometimes when you add powders or you use mattifying products, it can make your face look really dried out and aged. So this just adds life back to your whole look. On the lips, we're adding the Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Posh. Love the formula of these. They're so moisturizing, but they're not full coverage. So they have your natural lip color peeking through and I just think it looks so sexy especially with this type of look. And then I'm adding cocoa on my waterline, and of course I failed 
because the camera was in front of my eyes the whole time, but you get the gist. So here's the completed look. I hope you guys like it. I wore this on a night out in Waikiki and received so many compliments. So try it out, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in my next video.